Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Now as you could tell on Tuesday was I actually double uploaded and that's just because I figured you know what you guys deserve two Fishing North Atlantics. I know that uh, I haven't been posting a lot of them but a lot of people want to see them and so uh, that is why we are doing two Fishing North Atlantics this week just to say hey you know what thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, everything else. And like I said, since I know that you guys like watching these videos, I figured, hell, why not make uh, why not make two Fish North Atlantics this week? Uh, so what we are, we're out here going to pick up the 50, 50 or 60 pots, I can't remember how much it was. Uh, I think it's 50. Uh, 50 pots that we set out in this little rectangular thing, trying to see if there's any crab here and if there is, where they're at. And then down here, I have a good feeling about these 10 pots down there. So uh, that is why we're out here, hopefully, like I said, hopefully trying to catch on some fish or some crab. We are going to be stacking them up for a little bit and uh, waiting to see if we actually do catch something. Um, but before we get too deep into this video, I do have to say something. Mr. Allen, I do actually have you beat. Uh, he sent me... Um, like I said, he he's actually on my PS4 friends account or whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, what was really funny is that he uh, oh they just put the pot right there. He sent me this this picture of like a three thousand pound pot. And so what was funny, if I can go to where it is, is I actually like I said I have him beat, but I have to find it again. I told him that we had a 4,000 pound pot, and there it is right there, 4112. And if anybody can, or, well, I'm pretty sure it can be beat, but if anybody beats that, let me know, you know, uh, and uh, we'll definitely, it's a friendly competition. That's what it will be. And, uh, and so, yeah, if you haven't joined my Discord server, I know a few of you guys, and, uh, well, and gals, if you if you are gals or guys or whatever, uh, I know a few of you have uh, actually joined over there. So thank you much for that. It's just another place to uh, you know hang out, uh, you know chit chat, do whatever the hell you want. Like I said, the only rules are is uh, you know be kind, be friendly. We you know there's there's so much fucking hatred in the world anymore. We we don't need any more. So with that being said. Uh, you know, just respect one another. All we're here for is to, you know, play games and see, what, you know, how to help, it, help each other out. So the link will be in the description just like the past probably week or two. Uh, I will continue to put the link in the description just, like I said, just to hang out and everything else. Um, mostly I will be on there Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday because that is when I'm off. I don't much get onto my computer when, uh, when I work just because, you know, I, I don't have much time. By the time I get off, I pretty much take a shower, eat something, and go to bed. So, uh, with that being said, um, I, I, like, you know, I'll be on there Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and, uh, but yeah, um, I do have Alan on there. He will be my moderator if I did set it up right, and so if you have any questions, you know, just ask him, and then he will get a hold of me, um, if, if needed. So, he will be my first chief or first lieutenant, whatever, you know, the ranks go. But, yeah, uh, like I said, he's been here for quite a while. He's been here, like I like I keep saying, about since I had 30, 35 subscribers. So he's been here for quite a while. And, uh, you know, uh, I told him that he, you know, don't abuse the power or nothing like that. So, uh, you know, I trust him and everything else. And, uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. Like I said, if if I'm not on there and you do have any questions, he will be on there and, uh, you know, answer the questions or, or do whatever the hell you have. And uh, he will let me know, um, you know, when the time comes. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. It is July 13th at 1039 in the morning. Uh, woke up pretty early this morning, not going to lie. Woke up at, uh, I think, 8 o'clock. That, that's early for me. Uh, you know, normally... When, I, when I'm off, I try to sleep in at least a little bit just because I can. Uh, but, you know, when I work, I pretty much wake up at about 5.45 in the morning, you know, get dressed and, and get my lunch and all that, you know, in order. 
all my uh, all my drinks and stuff like that because it's been it's been pretty hot out here. You know, it's been about 90s uh, average. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had a 115 degree day, and that was just insane. And so, uh, you know, been uh, I've been freezing a gallon jug of water, and then I have an actual blue. Uh, what is it called? It's actually sitting right by me. So it's I don't know the company name or anything like that, but it's it's a 64 ounce and it says reduce on the bottle. So I'm guessing reduce is the company or whatever. My gal bought it for me and I didn't really care for it because it was so big. You know, it was just it's awkward to carry around and so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, she got it for me and I'm like, well, hell, I mean, I, I can work with it. And so I take that. I, I also have another 40 ounce. Oh, well, OK. I was going to say, I guess we're kind of slow on the draw there. But anyway, so I have a 64 ounce bottle, which I, I take with me every day. And then I have an extra gallon of frozen or a frozen block of ice. And, uh, you know, it normally melts pretty quickly in 90 degrees. And then I also take with me a 40 ounce. Um, I don't know what that one is called. I think it's uh Oh, great. Now, now that I'm talking about it, I can't think of it anymore. But anyway, so I have 64 ounce, a gallon, and 40 ounce. And then I normally take like a Gatorade or something with me just to, for a change of pace. Um, here in Oregon, they actually have, um, I think it's like Liquid 4 or something like that. Uh, it, it's like a, a packet of uh, this powder mix. And what you do is you pour it into uh, like a, a 16 ounce bottle of water and then you shake it up. And supposedly on the on the doohickey or the packaging, it says that one bottle of this uh, mixture drink is about uh, three or four bottles or equivalent. And uh, yeah, I drank one about seven o'clock one night. You know, thinking, oh well, you know, I'm kind of dehydrated. I'll you know do that. But yeah, that was a stupid mistake because then I peed all night. So other than that, it's a good thing. Uh, I, so with that 40 ounce um, bottle I have, I normally, you know, fill it up. I put two in there. You know, that that's 36 ounces equivalent. You know, basically. So I put two of two of them, two packets in the 40 gallon or 40 ounce bottle, and then that's what I I take to work with me. And normally I try to drink at least one of the 64. And then I try to drink at least half of the 40 ounce, and then that's, I try to stay hydrated. Of course, it uh, depends on what I'm doing in the day. You know, if I'm doing bins, which I have a, a bin on the truck and bin on the trailer, I don't really have time other than driving um, from the landfill to the, the site of which I go to. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's pretty fun. I, I enjoy my job and everything else, but uh, yeah. Oh, shut up. Come on. So with that all being said, it is a fantastic bottle. You know, uh, like I said, I, I didn't want it just because it's so big and, and bulky and everything else. But it actually was not bad. And I'm actually going to set a crab on this little pot or this string here because that was actually a good little run. Ten pots and I have, well, as soon as they get this all done, it, it, it was over. 10,000 pounds, so it was uh, at least a thousand pounds per pot average. But yeah, besides the point, you know, I, I like I said, I didn't really want it, you know, so on and so forth, but she's like, oh, here, have it anyway. But let me tell you what, when it was 109 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, I don't, uh, like what, 40 degrees Celsius or whatever? I don't know. I'm just guessing. But uh, when it was 109 degrees Fahrenheit, it actually kept cold. It uh, it didn't have, or like the ice was still there. It didn't melt the ice other than what it was already melting from the water itself. It actually worked out very well. I was actually pretty pleased with it. I'm not going to lie. What is this at? That's 19 hours good. So we're, we're keeping right up on track. But yeah, so like I said, I wish I knew more about the bottle. I'm, I'm You know, I'm not going to sponsor it or nothing like that. I, I just really like the bottle now that i actually work in the heat and everything else it's fantastic so if you do look up reduce bottles i think it should pop up i think i'm not for sure i mean i guess i could look it up on amazon right quick she got it where the hell did she even get it i think she got it like michael's or something like that you know nothing nothing too fancy but here let's see 
I look it up on Amazon. Amazon, for some reason, is where she shops at all the time. Reduce bottles. Let's see. Oh, that's what the, the logo looks like. I don't even know how much it was, to be honest with you. Let's see if I can actually get to the pot without running it over. Uh, let's see. Oh, here, I guess I can type it in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so a 50-ounce mug is $34. Like I said, I don't know how much she spent on it. I'm going to have to ask her when she comes in. I, I was... I was meaning to tell you all, like, if you do want a good bottle that keeps it, you know, your, your liquid or whatever you're drinking cold and you have ice in it and stuff like that, um, you know, as far as I'm aware, I never had anything other than water in it, so I don't know if it, you know, waters down fast because it has ice in it. I don't know that, that aspect of it. But anyway, if you want water and, and you put ice in it and all that fun stuff, it's actually a really good bottle to have. It is called Reduce. And I just typed in Reduce Bottle. And that's how I found it. That was a 2,300 pound pot right there. So that was, that was good as well. And honestly, I just set these pots on a, on a whim. So, I mean, that's that's not bad for getting all these all these crab and stuff like that. From, uh, you know, from just setting them willy-nilly. But yeah, other than that, you know. It's a fantastic bottle. Fantastic everything. Uh, we are at, because I always inform you guys, we are at 352 subscribers. And, uh, you know, as always, thank you for that. I No, we do, I think. Oh, no, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it because I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention, but I'm not. So 19 hours ago, uh, Heath Cliff Flexner. Heath Cliff Flexner subscribed. Um, I, I think that's how you say it. I'm not for sure. Heath Cliff Flexner subscribed. So thank you much for that. And then, you know, uh, Dan X, thanks. However you say your name. Again, like I said, I do apologize. If I ever do mispronounce your name or whatever, let me know in the comments on how you actually say it. Uh, I did actually mess up on Jenner. Uh, he's one of the subscribers that uh, actually fixed it because I mispronounced it. And so instead of... Because uh, cause how it's spelled is G. Jenner. Well, he actually told me that he was Danish or they are Danish, excuse me, and uh, because they are Danish, it's actually just Jenner. So I didn't know that, so thank you for that. So if I ever do mispronounce your name, I do not mean to rudely. Uh, I just try to uh, try to say it how we would say it here in the U.S. of A., which, of course, is probably not the right way. But anyway, Dan X or Danks, whatever, uh, he commented, the Nuggetator gives 5% more gold from the miner's moss. Uh, might be a good investment. Keep digging. You'll get there. Drill that claim. See where the gold actually is. Focus there. Uh, I would set up the wave table and mag separator right down next to the wash plant. Save all that time running back and forth. I'm no expert, but I did finish the last PC leaderboard in 6th or 7th place. And honestly, I don't even remember ever hitting the leaderboard so with that congratulations because i don't know how anybody hit the leaderboard especially i saw one of them and then they had like fourteen thousand ounces or something like that it was absolutely ridiculous so that you hit sixth or, or seventh sixth or seventh uh spot on the leaderboard you know that, I, I think that's a good big congratulations to you mr dan x or Denks, either one like i said uh, if you're if you're worried about it and you want to let me know in the comments below tell me how to say your name uh, Like I said, I don't mean to uh, say it wrong. It's just uh, Some of you guys have interesting names, okay, and so I try to uh, Try to say everything nicely try to say everything without uh, Being mean or nothing like that. Come on get it done. Thank you barely barely 
I don't know how much that pot was. Definitely doesn't look a whole hell of a lot. We're only getting about 600 pounds, so we're definitely on the crab here, but over here it doesn't seem like uh, we're on much. But other than that, yeah, we we just been hanging out. I actually went to the doctor yesterday um, again. I don't know if I told any of you guys this, but uh, on July 7th, after work, uh, yeah, I, I said that weirdly because I almost forgot what month I'm in, okay? My brain has been scattered forever. A thousand pounds on that one. That was bad. But anyway, on July 7th, I actually went into the doctor because I've been having some serious back pain. Uh, not on the spine, nothing like that, but where your right kidney would be, or you would think it would be, uh, I've been having real bad pain there. And, uh, well then, all of a sudden, without getting too graphic, um, you know, the right side of my groin, okay, that's about as, as plainly as I can put it, it felt like it was going to explode. And so I was trying to figure out what in the world I was doing to make it happen that way. Uh, you know, like when I was standing, walking, whatever, it just felt like it was going to explode. Well, if you never had that feeling, it does not feel great. I've had two kidney stones that I know of because I had to have what they call flow max to open up your ureter and urethra and all that other fun stuff to pee out the kidney stone. But anyway, so I figured it was just a kidney stone. Went to the doctor. The doctor was like, oh, well, we'll give you a shot of uh, Travidol? No, not Travidol. I don't know. A shot of something. And that needle was like three inches long. It was insanely humongous. Very scary. I don't like needles. Never have. Never will. Uh, but anyway, they shot me in my butt cheek. And, uh, you know, what? actually, the pain went away for a, a day and a half or a day, somewhere in there. And I'm like, okay, well, that, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. And so with that being said, when I uh, when I went back in yesterday, the doc said that I was too late for a CAT scan um, or anything because, you know, I, I went in after work, at, which was, or after I got off, I left at 5. And he said because you were so late, they couldn't get in um, to uh, the doctor. This string wasn't real good, so I'm not going to set anything up for that. But anyway, so I couldn't get in through uh, the CAT scan or anything. And so I was like, okay, fine, whatever. But he said, if the pain, you know, keeps happening, come in on Monday, that's when I'm going to be in. And then, uh, you know, we'll take a look at you again and, and see what we can do. So then, uh, you know, I wasn't going to go in. We went, fi uh, well, not fishing. I wish I went fishing, but I haven't. Uh, so we went out and went shopping and uh, just... It, it just started hurting real bad again. You know, it just felt like I couldn't walk anymore. It, it just bad stuff. So we went in. Went in at 2.30. Okay. And these guys at the medical field, I swear they don't get in a hurry for nothing. Because why would they? But anyway, so then I went in. And they are like, oh, well, great. My, my pot's over here and I'm over here. This is going to be fun. Oh, that's like way over there. But anyway, so I went in to the dock, and the dock was like, oh, so your back, so the pain's here. And I was like, yeah, because I d wouldn't be here just to see your lovely smiley face, right? And so he goes, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a CAT scan, and that's just what we're waiting on. Because normally, when you have a kidney stone, basically the only way they're going to find it is a CAT scan. Um, you know, so I peed and cut for a UA to see if there's any blood or any, you know, any abnormalities or whatever. That's a big word, so if I didn't say it right, that's probably why. Uh, but anyway, so, so he, he, they took a UA, everything came back normal, there was no blood, no nothing. And, uh, you know, wasn't very, I was really hoping for a kidney stone, because if I had a kidney stone, then I wouldn't have to worry about it, you know. Uh, but with that being said, because... There was no blood in it. I didn't really feel very secure about my, my self-diagnosis, right? Like I said, I had two of them. Normally, when you have one kidney stone, you definitely know when you have another one. Um, you know, the, the first one, I can't remember how big the first one was, but the second one I had, I was actually driving cross-country, and it was four to five millimeters big or wide or however you want to say it, 
and I had to pee that thing out. Yeah, it was not fun. Don't ever have kidneys done. But anyway, so they, they took a UA. Nothing happened. You know, nothing came up on the on the test or nothing. And uh, and then they were like, okay, well, go, go take the CAT scan, and then after you're done, come back. So then I went over to the, the hospital, which is only like two miles away. It's not a big deal. Went in there, got the CAT scan, went, well, I had to wait for a call. So by this time, it's already 5.30, okay? So three hours, I waited for one test. It was ridiculous. Um, you know, it was actually kind of surprising that I actually got the test that day anyway. But, so I had to wait for me to get that test. A thousand pounds is not bad. And uh, so I got the test. They called me back and said, everything come back normal. Go back to uh, your doctor that you were seeing at it, or urgent care. And then, you know, we'll go from there. I'm like, okay, whatever. Went back there and the doc said, well, I don't have very much good news. I said, what is it? He said, you don't have a kidney stone. That we couldn't see any kidney stones whatsoever. But he goes, what I did, what I thought I saw, because supposedly he can't read the scan or whatever. Um, you know, he's only a PA. He's not a doctor. Uh, but he said, what I think I saw was a gallstone. Well, that's interesting to know because when I was 19 years old, my, my they pulled my gallstone or my my gallbladder. So they pulled that when I was 19. They're in 26, no, 2017. So I was 20. Uh, August or May 3rd of 2017 is when I had surgery. And so he's like, oh, well, I I think I saw a gallstone, but I'm not for sure. And I was like, well, would that cause the pain in which I am having? And he said. Probably, but then he asked the doctor or the radiologist or whoever the hell does the CAT scan, and he said that uh, they said that it wasn't everything come back normal. And so the doc goes, "What I think I was seeing was w the incision of which they cut, you know, or carterized it, or, or you know, whatever they had to do to take out the gallbladder." I was like, "Okay, well, that's not good either." He goes, but what you do have is you do have a small hernia on the left side, which is not good to know. He said, are you hurting on the left side at all? And I said, no, I mean, everything's fine. And he said, well, that's good. That means you don't have to have surgery for hernia or hernia surgery. And I said, no, but if I screw it up, then I'm going to have to. And me and surgery don't get along, okay? Like when I had my gallbladder taken out, they gave me a shot of Dilaudid. Travadol and oxycodone, which is pretty, I mean, that that's supposedly is what people told me. That is a very high dosage of painkillers. Well, this shit didn't work for nothing, okay? It didn't even touch it. They gave me three shots of that, you know, concoction, and it didn't do anything. Like, my pain level is about a 20. And uh, at this point, you know, I was 20 years old. And they were like, oh, well, you're just, you know, you just want the painkillers. And I'm like, no, I'm literally, you know, in pain. Like, I was in so much pain, I was sweating. I was, you know, like shivering from the pain. And uh, they were like, well, you're not lying. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. So then, anyway, back to the story now. Uh, if you do want to hear about my gallbladder surgery, just let me know. And then I will tell you. Because it was not fun in the slightest. But anyway, back to <laughs> yesterday. Um, I was actually, so so he told me about the whole uh, hernia thing, and I said, oh, fantastic, you know, that's just another another way to, you know, die in pain. And he goes, well, you're used to pain with all the health issues you have. And this is the same doctor that told me that my gallbladder was going out, but nobody else would believe me. And so, uh, you know, he, he this doc checked out my grandma and, and everything else, so I do trust his diagnosis and everything else that's a big pot 1900 pounds and stuff like that so actually since we're here let's actually put a crab there and so that is why you know i, I you know I, I believe them and trust them and everything else but what ticked me off was that he had to figure out the pain and this is what didn't take me off what ticked me off was later in, in life but what ticked me off was is that 
Well, hold on a minute. I gotta tell you the whole story. So he, he puts me in this room with my gal. She's sitting there and, and he goes, okay, what I want you to do is pull down your trousers and I'm gonna grab your scrotum because you know, let's talk scientific here. So, so he grabs the boys and I guess what he said was he was checking to see if one of them has twisted and cutting off blood supply to the boys, which if that happens, it can cause a lot of pain. And really, you know, if you cut any blood circulation off of anything is not good. So then he's like, okay, well, I couldn't see nothing, but to make sure we're going to have you have an ultrasound. So here we are, not even, you know, like four hours in. Okay, and I had one doctor grab the cojones, and then he said, oh, you're going to go back over to the hospital, which I literally just left, and then you're going to get an ultrasound on the boys, just to make sure everything's fine. I said, yay, whatever. I go back over to the, the hospital. They put the ultrasound deal on my on my gonads there, and everything come back fine. Nothing was wrong. Um, you know, had blood flow, and, and, and the boys were fine. Okay, the boys were fine. The family jewels... We're secure, okay? But this is also not a good thing. Why, you might ask? Why is this not a good thing? Because I'm still having pain, but nobody really knows why. That's the thing that's not good. So then, like this, it's 7.30 at this time. I'm supposed to have dinner at my brother's house with his wife at 6.30, and it's 7.30. So I'm already late. And then we, so we move dinner plans next, you know, next week. Maybe, you know, let's just say maybe, because God forbid, every time you try to plan something, it, it doesn't happen. So anyway, um, that next, next week is when I'm going to have dinner. But anyway, so, so he calls my doc, or the, the ultrasound guy calls the doc, and the doc goes, oh, well, they didn't find nothing. Everything come back normal. Oh, I hit the, the mic again. Everything come back normal everything's fine, and I go, well, you know, at this point, what the hell, you know, is, is the matter, you know, and he goes, well, what we think you did was that you popped out a small kidney stone, but because you popped out the small kidney stone, you could have residing pain from that, like, like phantom pain or something, and I'm like, okay, you know, like, like, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this information? You know, oh, come on. Let, no, no. Just, you know what, screw it. That, that, that works fine. Uh, you know, at this point, like, what, what am I supposed to do with this information of what you are giving me? Because really, it's not very helpful. So then, after that, basically, he just goes, well, the only thing we can do is that if the pain don't stop, come back in in a few days, and then we'll, we'll see what we can do. So in 24 hours, I've had CAT scan, ultrasound, three people hold my junk, and nothing to show for it. And uh, all, the only thing I found out was that I, I have a hernia, which didn't necessarily surprise me because, you know, I worked at a nursing home. And if you ever worked at a nursing home, you know that you pick up people all the time. So with that being said, it didn't surprise me that I have a hernia, right? And if you don't know what a hernia is, look it up online, because it's way over my head. Basically, I'll, I'll give you a little definition as I get a thumbnail here. Booyah, beautiful. Basically, what a hernia is, or as far as I understand it, is when your intestine, I guess, goes through your, your belly muscle stomach muscle and then the only way to get it back in is to catch you open push back in sew it up and then hopefully it stays or at least that's what i figure out but anyway with that being said he said if it ain't bothering you we ain't gonna do nothing about it wait until it gets bigger if it does so like i said me and surgery don't get along but you may have to go in for surgery but you know like i said i have to wait for a while because i don't have uh, my my employer's insurance yet. And I'm supposed to get that August 1st. And then I actually am part of a union, but I haven't got my paperwork yet. So I, you know, I tried to call the guy, but he didn't answer. So anyway, long story short, 
nothing nothing happened um you know hopefully the pain just you know goes away like they said it was because i mean i really don't want to deal with it but uh yeah let me know in the comments below if you ever had anything like this happen and so i can try to self-diagnose myself and uh yeah we'll go from there but anyway like i said wasn't real good i don't know what that last pot was what was that last pot two thousand pounds that is absolutely not bad like i said we'll, we'll if this next one is is uh, as much as the last one when we'll set a crab here and then basically this is where the crab generally is and so we're going to try to uh you know coordinate a rhythm and catch all the crab now what we are going to do is instead of going in town i think what we're going to do is we're going to try to fill this boat up but i'm not for sure i need to read up on the wiki on the game 2400 pounds holy macaroni so they're definitely i mean they're here and here here and here so they're definitely in this general area not necessarily down here though oh 10 days ago let's get rid of that it wasn't down here but they're they're definitely here it's like they're moving this away so with that being said might have to keep a might have to keep an eye on that do i have a pot no no they're just standing there doing nothing good oh and also i did actually move around my guys and gals so these three are the best um here we'll, we'll give you something to eat there for a little bit so these three are the best crab sorters and uh yeah i'm tired of paying fines so with that being said Hopefully they'll, they'll, you know, quit making me pay fines. What is my pot set? So I know 21 hours. So that's not great. Eh, okay, so we need to get going. Instead of diddle-dallying around, we need to get going. But yeah, so I, I, I fired a lot of people and moved people to the, the crew nest or whatever the hell you want to call it. And then I actually hired on some people that actually have good crab sorting. Because at the end of the day, that is all that matters if you're good at crab sorting, right? But anyway, very various topic of talking today. I mean, the bottle, of which I use religiously now. And then talking about my health issues, which, like I said, really doesn't surprise me because I have a lot of health issues. Mike, Mike, like I, I think I told everybody... My grandma actually has kidney problems. She had kidney cancer once, and now she has another, I think it, she said a cyst on her kidney. And to get rid of the kidney cancer before, they had to cut half of her kidney out. Well, now she has another cyst on that kidney with a inch or half an inch kidney stone in her kidney. So as you can tell, our kidneys in my family is not great. Both of my grandpas had prostate problems so that's not good you know my my grandma my other grandma or my mom's mom had breast cancer and then my my actually my mom's dad actually had prostate cancer so that's not good because i'm a guy that's not good at all and then you know my whole family has heart problems and everything else so really it's it, i mean we're we're just giving fantastic genes my sister is relatively healthy at least I don't think she had anything wrong. I, I know she had one kidney stone, I think. My brother, I don't know how many kidney stones he's actually had. I know he had at least three. I think he said five one time, but but yeah, I'm not I'm not for sure. Uh, let's see. But, you know, I'm the only child that has broken a bone. I cracked my head twice, broke my left arm twice. Thanks to my brother. Okay, let's just... Let's just say that because I cracked my head on a trampoline. Uh, my brother and I was jumping on a on a trampoline. It was super hot, probably about 100 and some degrees. So his buddy decided that it would be a fantastic idea to spray down the, the trampoline, right? Fantastic idea. Well, my brother, he jumped, and then I jumped. Well, I landed, and he landed right when I was going back up in which my knees buckled and I fell back and boom, my, the back of my head landed on the uh, on the main bar there that holds the trampoline, or the springs to the trampoline, to the pole. And then everybody left, and then his bright, intimate wisdom put a paper towel over, which was good, and then put a band-aid over it and then ripped it off because it didn't stay. Well, now I'm, you know, 
partially bald back there. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, other than that, and then something to do with, like, when I was 13 months old or something like that, I fell off the couch and then broke my left arm. I can't really remember. I Supposedly, it was my brother's fault, but then he said I just fell off the couch. But we all know that he didn't want to get in trouble because I always get the blame for everything. And, uh, you know, I have a lot more stories about that, too. Especially when we went down to Shasta, Lake Shasta, in 2018, uh, the houseboat come undone from the bank, and then, you know, I jumped in the, the tracker, in which you, the, there's actually a picture on one of these videos at the very end of where my dad actually crashed the boat into a tree. Yes, it's a very bad picture, and I was not very happy. But anyway, he crashed the boat into a tree and, and you know, royally screwed it up. So, but now, my brother blamed me for screwing up the prop, even though he said that he ran it to an island. But of course, because I'm the youngest, and or not the youngest, but I'm the middle child, I got all the blame. I got all the yelling and everything else. And then, like, like a few months ago, he goes, oh yeah, I ran into an island. But guess what? My dad didn't care anymore because he already yelled at me. <sighs> anyway. So, I blame him for breaking my arm. I blame him for cracking my head. Holy mackerel, 2,500 pounds. So, yeah, I, I blame him for mostly everything. Because, uh, you know, he don't tell anybody until it's over. Because, you know, he, he's kind of smart. But other than that, okay, my mom I was like, Oh, you'll be okay. You did it to yourself. And then my brother's like five years later. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I broke his arm. I, I, I ruined that prop in that boat, but I ain't going to tell anybody until everybody forgot about it, you know, until you get blamed, and then he's like, oh, I did it, you know, because he gets all guilty, you know, or feels guilty for, you know, blaming me, and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, you know, I did that, you know, he, he didn't do it, you know, oh, dude, yeah, screw off. Anyway, so that's one. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's my, that's my family gene pool. Huh, 100 tons of crab. That's a lot. 3,000 pounds? Holy, that was almost another 4,000. It was 39.56 if you didn't see. But, yeah, so that was my weekend right there. You know, like I said, I'm off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I spent, a lot of that time in a doctor's office because you know why not what, what what's the fun in in you know spending your time at home and, and recording videos for youtube and talking to you guys what that's not fun no i'd rather sit into a doctor's office and have my nuts groped and everything else that's what i think is fun right there now of course if you guys do not pick up on the sarcasm we are never gonna be friends on this channel because i'd speak a complete ton of bullshit and everything else so i would set pots but because we're actually behind the eight ball right now when you actually need to pick up these pots before before anything uh we do have forty-eight thousand four hundred and thirty-two pounds in the boat and that was only with 40 pots so we're actually doing fairly well but like i said we need to pick up these these pots here before anything else the water seems very milky, but, uh, you know, not much we can do about that. Now, November 22nd, if you guys haven't heard, um, November 22nd of 2021, Farm Sim 22 is coming out. And I'm actually really excited about it. They're adding three new crops. They're adding olives, grapes, and seagram, sagram, seagram, something rather in that realm i can't remember exactly but they're adding that they're adding mac trucks or at least mac uh mac built stuff um so yeah that's going to come out in 22 or november 22nd that's what i meant and uh might have to pick that up not gonna lie might have to pick it up so stay tuned for that and uh yeah like I, like I always say, if you guys have any any ideas uh, about games and whatnot, let me know. And, uh, you know, of course, I will try to see what I can do. How do I get out of this thing? How do I get out of this thing? Oh, do I have to go down again? 
You know, I don't short crab because, you know, I can't tell the difference. In real life, I can, but... Oh. Oh, that ain't cool. I went the wrong way. That ain't cool at all. This guy runs so slow. Here, that's actually... No? Oh, okay, we're done. 535 pounds. And I thought this one was going to be the best one. That's not good. But, anyway. Other than that, that's my life. Right there. You know, 24 years old. Have major health issues. I mean, not major health issues. Just, just a lot of pain. Ever since I turned 19. I swear to you. August 3rd of 2016. Major pain. And for some reason, I've just been falling apart ever since. You know, I told my gal, I said, you better get ready, because when I turn 45, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> because I just have, like I said, I have a ton of health issues. Uh, you know, my gene pool is, is not the greatest in the world, and uh, so on and so forth. And especially having kidney problems, uh, like kidney stones and everything else, probably not the best best thing to, to have. So, but anyway, I don't know why I told you all that. But uh, it gave me something to talk about. So, of course, if you guys like the video, you know, and you want to hear more about my life and stories and everything else, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Uh, just let me know if you guys like these kind of topics. Because uh, I don't, really. I, I really don't. 2,600 pounds is also not bad. Uh, so now that we actually... Let's actually put a crab here, too. We actually have a very decent place here so we have all these crab spots up here and down here so we might actually do five ten pot strings all the way down just like so and then see what we can do and then how much money do we got eight million we might actually try to get the bigger crab boat so we have bigger crab pots or more crab pots and then we actually could see if that will work out in our favor or not we actually did have that boat twice but then it started getting buggy a little bit um you know like you couldn't drive it forward you can only drive it in reverse so then we sold it and so we could get it again if needed uh, but uh you know that we'll just have to wait and see on on what you guys think like always you know this channel is every bit of yours it is as it is mine uh so if you, whatever you guys want to see let me know in the comments below. If you want me to get the big old $29 million Atlantic catcher again, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see, you know, the Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, whatever, that boat, let me know in the comments below. I just picked up the Scarlet because it is one of the smaller vessels that of, uh, of crab gear. And uh, so basically that's why I bought it. You know, I didn't really, didn't really have any other reason to buy this boat especially when we had the 29 million one. We did have the Coastern, which is basically Northwestern there on Deadly Sketch. If you haven't seen Deadly Sketch, it is a good show. It's very drama-filled. Oh, that's a terrible pot. 56 pounds. Uh, it is a very drama-filled video or show, but, I mean, it's, it's a good show nonetheless. So if you haven't checked that out, basically all the boats that are on this game, except Atlantic Catcher, is on deadliest catch and i think nova scotia is actually not on the boat or that that uh that show either but the scarlet basically reminds me of saga uh which jake anderson is actually currently the captain of and i think part owner i'm not sure if he's full owner or part owner uh but sig hansen actually runs in the northwestern and the coastern is literally the northwestern except it's the coastern um and yeah so basically like i said if you guys ever want to see anything different, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what games are out there in the in the universe of games. I'll definitely try to pick it out. Uh, a lot of you guys still want me to play Snow Runner, and uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Now, of course, everything is a work in progress. Uh, it actually don't sound like a too bad a game. I just don't really. The the reason why I'm I'm kind of hesitating on buying it, and this is the honest truth is because I don't necessarily know what I want to do with it. You know, because I have it on my PS4, because my brother was like, oh yeah, buy the game and then we'll play together. Well, we haven't played together. And, uh, you know, that's, that's basically how we buy most of our games, is, uh, you know, we buy it, and then we play once, and then never play again. Uh, you know, because basically our, our days off don't match up, period. And then stuff like that. That's a big pot, 1400 
<laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, besides the point, um, I don't like I said. I don't know what to do with it. You know, uh, a few people said to do hardcore mode, and we could do hardcore mode. Not gonna lie, we could do it. Um, but I don't know. You know, like I said, I don't know. Uh, if anybody has SnowRunner on PC, because I don't think it's cross-platform, but if anybody has it on PC, let me know in the comments below. Because if you do and you do have a mic, we might team up and see what we can do. Because I feel like that'd be a fun little thing to do. You know, if we get on Discord, um, then you know we can. I can record your voice and everything else. If you wanted to be a part of the show or the the video. And then, uh, you know, record for a while and uh, go from there. Uh, basically, just help me out because, you know, and Snow Runner, I get stuck more times than not. Uh, so, if you guys do have Snow Runner on PC, let me know. And then, uh, you know, we can, we can potentially hang out on PC. Just like Mr. Allen, you know, I, I keep saying that I'm going to hang out with him on PS4. We actually have about three or four times. But honestly, I mean, when I'm recording and stuff like that, I just don't necessarily have time, and and so it's 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 a hard gig, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, working full time, four tens um, a week, so having three days off and recording and trying to edit and upload, you know, it's it's full time. So uh, you know, Mr. Allen, I do apologize for not playing with you more, uh, but you know, hopefully y'all understand. But like I said, if you do have Snow Runner and you are off Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, let me know in the comments below, and you very well could be a part of the video whenever we get Snow Runner. But uh, like I said, just let me know in the comments. If you did make it this far, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We are at 56,000 pounds, which honestly is not bad. That's about an average of 1,000 pounds per pot. I mean, we definitely could have done better, but, you know, 1,000 pounds per pot is not bad, and so if we did that, we'd need six more loads, but, you know, you know what they say. Um, now thinking about it, I probably will go back into port just to sell the crab anyway, just because, you know, might as well. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Yarmouth is $13. Probably because I went in there so much. 13 12 12 13 38 and 13 06. So Yarmouth it is. I, I mean, for some reason, we just keep going to Yarmouth, and I don't really know why. But I can't really go anywhere until this, these people get the everything done. So with that being said... Is uh, Pearl, I think her name is. Are you done? Good. Cook something else. These guys ain't even tired, so that's good. But now I know that I can do 50 pots without any of them turning green. So that's, that's another good thing to know. Let's see. I want to go about northeast, I do believe, to get to Yarmouth. And right now we're going east. 2,000 pounds. Let me just throw a little crab right there somewhere. That's eh, about the straight line. So this whole place is just basically loaded with crab. It doesn't show on the, the map, though. You know, like there's nothing underneath the boat. But for some reason, there is crab here. So actually, I'm going to put these guys here so I know who I want sorting my crab. Victor, are you good at sorting crab? No. You are absolutely terrible. Okay, well, because we know that, good enough for me. And we are not headed to Yarmouth. Um, because that is the wrong general area. Ten hours and 32 minutes to get to Yarmouth. And yes, it looks like Yarmouth. Yarmouth is purdy today, right? But no, uh, Mr. Allen is from Canada. And uh, he actually said that it was Yarmouth. And yes, I know it is Canada. But, you know, us Americans down here in the U.S. of A. love to pick on our northern friends. And we still have undersized and female snow crab. How can you screw it up that badly? Okay, that is what I don't understand. But anyway, we still have $704,000, which is not bad in the slightest. Uh, let's see. Fish market, fishing gear. How much did we get? We went through three of them. So we can literally set... 
ten times. But anyway, like I said, if you guys have any ideas on anything, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't liked, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And then, like I said, if you have SnowRunner and you want to be a part of the video, let me know, and then we can try to make that happen. But anyway, thank you guys so much for the support. It does truly, truly mean a lot. It is a little bit of a longer one just because we have 50 pots that we had to pick up, sort crab and everything else. But anyway, thank you all for everything you do for me. And just remember, if you want to be a part of the Discord server, uh, the link will be in the description below. I will see you there, everybody, and thank you much. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.